in today's video we will discuss cell structure and functions so firstly let us discuss the introduction discovery of cell the cell types of organism shapes of cell size of cell types of cells cell structure and function parts of cells the difference between plant and animal cell discovery of cell robert hooke discovered the cell in the year 1665 from a thin section of cork under a self made microscope the cell the cell is a basic functional and structural unit of life all the living organisms are composed of cells some cells are big enough to be seen with the unaided eye hence egg is an example types of organism first unicellular organism unicellular organisms are made up of a single cell for example amoeba and paramecium all the basic functions such as digestion respiration excretion etc in these organisms performed by a single cell second type of organism is multicellular organism organisms made up of more than one cells are called multicellular organism for example humans cow rose etc in these organisms the cells show division of labor as particular set of cells are involved in performing a specific body function pseudopodia pseudopodia is cytoplasm filled parts of cell membrane that are able to change their form it is used for locomotion and intake of food shapes of cells human blood cell the human blood cells rbc is spherical shaped muscle cells the muscle cells in humans are spindle shaped nerve cells the hu human nerve cells have elongated branched structure sizes of cell the smallest cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria the largest cell is of size 170 mm into 130 mm which is the egg of an ostrich types of cells prokaryotic cells cells which do not have a well defined nuclear membrane and nuclear material lies freely in the cytoplasm of the cell for example bacteria blue green algae eukaryotic cells cells having nucleus with well defined nuclear membrane for example plant and animal cell cell structure and functions in multicellular organisms each organ system is made up of several organs organs are further made up tissues are group of similar cells performing a specific function parts of cells cell membrane the cell membrane gives shape to cell protect the inner part of the cell and allow movement of material in and out of the cell cell wall in plant cells the cell membrane is covered by another thick covering called cell wall cytoplasm the cytoplasm is jelly like substance between the cell membrane and nucleus it contains other components organelles like mitochondria golgi bodies ribosomes and vacuoles etc nucleus the nucleus is a spherical body generally found in the center of the cell it has a membrane called nuclear membrane it has a smaller spherical body called nucleolus and thread like structures called chromosomes the chromosomes carry genes which transfer character from parent to offspring vacuoles vacuoles are blank looking structure in the cytoplasm vacuoles are large in size in plant cells and small in size in animal cells plastids plant cell have several small colored bodies in the cytoplasm called plastids chloroplast the green colored plastids are called chloroplast they contain chlorophyll which help in photosynthesis difference between plant cell and animal cell in plant cell cell wall is present but in animal cell cell wall is absent in plant cell nucleus is located in periphery of the cell but in animal cell nucleus is located in the center of the cell plastids are present in plant cell 
but absent in animal cells a large single vacuole is present in the center of cytoplasm in plant cells but in animal cell numerous small vacuoles are present in the cytoplasm thanks for watching and if you like the video please share it and subscribe the channel for more videos